Are you struggling to get a good sound in your vocal recordings? Well, in this video, I'm gonna give you my two best tips for recording and mixing great sounding vocals. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete. This is Studio Live today where I help you create, record and release your best music. And if you're a singer or you're getting into singing or you're recording vocals in your tracks, then getting that vocal sound right is really the key to getting a good song. So in this video, I'm gonna break down and talk about the two tips I have. One is a recording tip for on the way in and the other one is a mixing tip so that you can get your vocals sitting in the mix and sounding good. So these tips might be pretty simple. So if you've already got a great vocal sound or you're already very experienced at singing, recording vocals and mixing and mastering your own vocals, well then these might be pretty obvious. But if you're just starting out, this might be just the catalyst you need to improve your sound. So the number one thing is how you actually sing on the way in. So if you're the singer or if you've got another singer that you're giving advice to, the number one piece of advice is to sing like no one is listening, to really sing at 100%. Now, why is this important? Well, the biggest mistake that I see people make when they're starting out and perhaps lacking in a little bit of confidence is singing within themselves. And what happens when you sing within yourselves is that you don't, not only do you sort of not hit the notes, but you sort of get a little bit off of a couple of notes. So if you're finding that the pitch of your singing is slightly off and you're just getting frustrated because you're not quite hitting notes, well then it may be that you're not actually giving it 100%. You're not really going for it and singing with 100% passion every time and it can be hard because when you're starting out you might be a little bit nervous you might be self-conscious if you're an introvert like me and like a lot of people in music then you don't want to do this in front of other people so here's my advice is to find a way to get into a space with no one else around and just sit down and sing you don't even have to record at first but just sing along to your favorite tune just sing loud and proud and practice really enunciating emoting and really pushing that sound out because you know what no one wants to listen to music where they're like, oh, that's a good song. That guy really didn't sound like he cared about things and he was just sort of phoning it in. They want to hear someone singing with passion. They want it to come from a place of passion. And that's the best, think of the best sounding songs that you've ever heard. It's not someone, well, maybe it is if you're listening to like some old Nirvana or something where Kurt's just, uh, just phoning it in a little bit. But in the most cases, you'll find that it's people that sing with passion that you're actually tuned into. So that is tip number one to really sing it out. And the beautiful beautiful part is we're in a digital environment here now so you're recording wherever you're recording if you're in garage on your iPhone if you've got a digital audio workstation you can just practice and practice just keep recording and what's going to happen is I talked about the pitch of your of your notes and not being able to hit things when you start following this advice you are going to miss notes and you're going to miss them spectacularly so you are not going to be slightly out of tune here and there you're going to go for it and you're probably going to miss things by a long shot but don't be discouraged by that because what you're learning you're going to be tuning your ear in you're going to be training yourself to really go for it and the best sound you're going to get is where you really go for the notes and you really hit them perfectly so that's my number one tip is around the actual performance getting it right at the source getting your vocals sounding really good is all about delivering them with intent and purpose and passion okay so number two let's go to the flip side of that you've got your amazingly passionate vocal recorded now you've got to mix it yeah you've got to bring it into your mix so there's a couple of things that I like to do here and the mistakes again that a lot of folks make is that they will mix their vocals into quietly it's a little bit weird like yes sometimes some people put them out really too loudly and you'll know if you're doing that but what I hear more often especially with people that are beginning singers or they're just starting out they're lacking a little bit of that confidence is that they're going to mix their vocals at a low level which means that they're not going to sit nicely in the mix now, there's a couple of things that we can do here one is turn up the volume literally turn up the volume of your vocals and now when I'm talking about volume, I'm not talking about the input gain. So I'm not talking about putting your volume up as you're recording, you're singing. You want that to be at a nice level. I've got plenty of videos where I talk about leveling and not clipping your audio. But what you do want to do is make sure that you put your volume of your vocals up so that they can be heard. Because like it or not, music, especially popular music, rock music, singer-songwriter music, people want to hear the lyrics. They want to hear the words. They want to hear the vocals. So it's not like old 60s, 70s where the vocals can kind of be buried in the mix you want the vocals to be upfront and present now 
yes you can go too far with that so you can put the volume up too high and that's where knowing how to use compression comes into it so using compression using eq using some of these other methods are really going to help you out and i've got a heap of videos here on the channel that talk about compression that talk about eq and how to get your vocals sounding right because what you want is an even performance in the end you don't want vocals that are really loud in one spot and really quiet in another you want them to sit in the mix and go along so using your compression and your eq the other key thing around volume is automation automating the volume of your vocals in the mixing process is a really good way to make sure that you're not going to be too low or too high in certain sections so it really all is all about volume and compression and eq and automation are all just other ways to impact your volume so get the volume right have some confidence back yourself in and get your vocals sounding right and sitting nicely in the mix so there you have it my top two pieces of advice for getting great pro sounding vocals in your recording that doesn't take a lot of expensive gear and equipment you don't need to be an absolute expert at this stuff you just need to know how to record a quality sound going in to really deliver your vocals with passion and then on the mixing side make sure that you're mixing them at the right level use your volume your compression your eq and your automation to get your vocals sounding right now if you'd like a practical example of this i will link to my video where i look at how to record a vocal and i actually sit down and show you how i set up my microphone how how I record and you can actually watch me go through this process mistakes and all and show what I mean by singing passionately and capturing that vibe of your vocal sound so that will be linked up there and down below for you to check out thanks for watching if you've got any comments questions or suggestions or your own tips for getting great vocal quality then leave those in the comments below and I'll see you on the next video Hey, thanks for sticking around. We've got a heap more videos all about recording your best music and they are linked down in the two videos below. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking on the Studio Live Today icon in the top right corner or you can go to studiolivetoday.com for more audio goodness.